look, I, I, I know, look, I'm as furious as you are when I walk into our building and I see roofs that were not redone. Officials gathering under one roof tonight for a heated meeting to decide the fate of hundreds of students. This after our report yesterday that Palmer Park Preparatory in Detroit was being tested for mold. It's our top story tonight. Even with all that contention, that meeting did result in a resolution for the future of those hundreds of displaced students. In announcing the decision to parents tonight, Superintendent Dr. Nikolai Vitti defending his response to the situation, saying the roof was scheduled to be replaced in the next few months. Action News reporter Brian Abel tells us where those kids will go now and why that meeting was so heated. Brian. Well, Glenn, it was because these parents say that this roof leak started two years ago. So if that is indeed the cause for this mold, if that is what it is, then all of this sudden concern for their kids' health, well, it was preventable. We've made a decision that it's in the best interest of teachers and students not to continue the rest of the school year here at Palmer Park. Parents packed into a Palmer Park prep auditorium tonight, learning where the kids will spend the rest of the school year after a teacher discover possible mold Thursday. The new site is in the former Northern High School, now home to the all-girl Detroit International Academy. Those students that currently get a bus to go to Palmer Park can get on the exact same bus they get on now. Detroit School Superintendent Dr. Nikolai Vitti says nothing changes. All bus routes will now be rerouted to DIA with an additional bus heading from Palmer to the new school for students who walk or are dropped off. We will have extra security um, down the hallway where your students will be at Palmer Park and they will be completely separated from the other students. Some parents tonight thankful for what they see as a school going above and beyond to minimize the impact on them and their kids. It's great to know that they have somewhere to go because it could have been a lot worse. No transportation, you had to pick your own school. So, you know, I feel like they're doing everything possible and in the long run we'll find out about the mold and whatever else is going on. Other parents, however, furious. Nothing was done earlier when the warning signs were there two years ago and two months ago when Dr. Vitti says he first saw the leaking roof. These teachers are up in here. These kids are up in here. Their health, all their health is in, at stake right now. He comes home tired with headaches. And you think the, it's because of what's happening yeah, here? Yes, because now that I know what's going on, I'm hearing the same thing from other parents. How their kids' grades have dropped. How they're, they're, he they're having headaches and, and tired. And Dr. Vidi says an independent third party is testing that mold right now. Those results, they'll come back by the earliest Friday, likely Monday or Tuesday of next week. He says he will share those results with parents, with the public. And if it is indeed mold and they find what kind of mold it is, then he will go to doctors to get their analysis on it for any potential health concerns. And then he'll face those concerns head on. Of course, there could be some legal problems there as well, depending on what those test results find. For now, reporting live, Brian Abel, 7 Action News. All right, Brian, thank you.